works for. So I imagine at this point you're getting pretty frustrated trying to get that OEM sway bar out of your Miata. So in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to remove the front sway bar and get the Corp Sport sway bar back in. So we're at the right hand side of the MX-5 now and we'll begin removing the front sway bar. First we're going to move this line up and out of the way. Second, we're going to rotate the sway bar up level. We're going to pull it forward and then let it kind of hang down like so. Next, we're going to move over to the other side of the car and actually remove it from the car. We're now on the left hand side of the car. I'm going to go through the series of steps of removing the front sway bar. So we're going to rotate the bar up and move it forward like we did on the right hand side. And we're going to pull it slightly towards you and then do a complete rotation so that the bar is now in the 9 o'clock position. Then start working the, the bar towards the back of the car until it kind of pops up and over. It can be a tight fit so don't get frustrated. And you're going to work, work the bar kind of towards you, wiggle it around, Make sure you don't hit the uh, coolant sensor and break it off that's over on the right hand side. Going to keep pulling it towards you. Watch the end of the bar right next to you. Watch the end of the bar at the other end. Make sure you're not stabbing it into the radiator fan or anything else. Um, I like to put my hand over the end of this if I can to try to protect the bumper. Then we're going to rotate the bar back down a little bit to clear the wires for the fan. Continue pulling it towards you, and then start to uh, angle it out, rotate, kind of wiggle it out of there, and you should be able to just pull it right out of the car. Simple. So, the moment we've been waiting for, we're ready to install the Cork Sport front sway bar. So, like removing the OEM one, we're going to start with the right hand side of the bar, put it inside the chassis, rotate, start pushing its way over. Now keep an eye on the right hand side end of the bar. You've got to go up and over the fan wires. There you go. Now keep working it to the right. Watch the bumper. Keep your hand over the end of the bar to make sure you don't scratch your paint. Continue pushing the bar into the chassis. Now we're at the point of hitting the coolant sensor. So be sure not to hit that and break that. Get the bar end up and over that. Continue pushing it forward. Now we got to work our way up and over the steering rack. So you'll want to work the bar forward in the chassis. And how I did that is I pulled the bar back towards me a little bit and then pushed it forward. Now continue pushing the bar through. Rotate the bar all the way around and then get the end of the bar here up over the rack and that's it for this side so we're back on the right hand side of the mx5 we have the bar almost completely installed and set up in its position so we'll just finish that up here so in doing this you'll want to make sure that the bar end goes up and over the rack and that the center hump in the bar goes up and over the motor in the rack.